Hey boys, welcome back to some more New Zealand Warriors 2021 career mode. It's going to be round seven of the season, and we're, we're coming off a, uh, well, we're coming off a win, but it's been, uh, the last five weeks, we've been a bit, uh, a bit hot and cold. I mean, we're still, we're still up in, in, uh, in third spot at the moment, so not, uh, not a bad start of the season at all. I don't know the last time the Warriors would have been up, uh, up near the top of the ladder. Would have been a long, long time ago, but... You know, we're just the uh, yeah, bit bit inconsistent the last uh, the last month of footy. You know, win loss win loss type of type of deal going on. But uh, taking on the Raiders here, but it, I, I mean, I guess at, at the end of the day, as uh, as long as we can get on some decent runs throughout the year, as long as those losses aren't going into you know two and three losses on the trot, then you know you, you're bound to lose. You're bound to lose some games. So as long as we can continue to to sort of nip that in the bud pretty quick, um, then uh, then we'll be then we'll be pretty happy. So playing here, wet weather footy should uh, you know should be should be a classic should be a classic contest. The Raiders obviously strong in real life, not not one of their not one of their finest years. Is nice little inside play there to Chansey, but uh, yeah, I mean a, a bit um, I don't know the Raiders this year a strange one, a strange year for them. I I didn't. I'll be honest. I didn't expect. I didn't expect them to have a great year. I. I just. Uh, I don't know. I thought. Um. You know, the Raiders a couple of years ago obviously were a bit unlucky, in. Uh, in the grand final. Um. And I, you know, as as much as it's uh, painful for the Raiders fans, the that was their golden. That was their golden opportunity. But right, here they're gonna score off the back of a little error. Josh Hodgson. Is gonna sneak on uh, a loose, a loose little pass there. Just, just getting muddled up. Um, I don't know what happened here. Just our dummy half, trying to, trying to go back across, and yeah, not, not a good ball. Tohu Harris could not, uh, could not get hold of it, and and Hodgson just, uh, just scurries over. But yeah, as, as much as it's painful, I think the Raiders sort of missed their, their little window for a premiership. Now I don't, you know, I don't think that they're. they're going to be out of the frame for too long is again beautiful inside ball there couple of couple of nice ones from either team i love dude the inside play it's it's the simplest play in the book but it it, it look it's just such a nice play when it when it comes off it's it's a it's a real treat um but you know i think i think the raiders can they they can fight their way back you know to to be contenders again but i think it, it'll take a bit i think it'll take a little bit of a rebuild um Obviously, some dramas this year with with some uh, with some of the English boys, which I mean is understandable. You know the George Williams saga and now the Hodgson stuff. Um, you know, I, I think uh, you know I, I do think it might be time for Hodgson to to move on from the Raiders. I, I think the Raiders probably need to sort of yeah. I mean that that's the that's the biggest issue. They still have Jack One, who again he he didn't have his best year. I, he was still you know he competed and everything, and I still love uh, I still love Jack One. He's you know you'd love to have him on your team, but it was it wasn't one of his best years for sure. Um, but they do need they need a halfback, and they probably need. I mean they have Starling coming through, who is sort of the the mini Damian Cook, I guess. But um, is he the long term future? Potentially, I, I still think he needs to find a little bit extra. But uh, yeah, he, he could be the guy they build around. But they do, they do definitely need to find a uh, a halfback, I guess, going forward. I don't know if they've they've gone out and and signed someone. But uh, George Williams here, we're just talking about him. Um, he was very good for them, but obviously, yeah, went back to went back to England with the with the saga there. He's gonna he's gonna cross. So it's it's been a poor start. It's been a poor start for us in this in this contest. Um, not playing not playing to the conditions at all. We we've just been giving the Raiders just cheap footy. Um, but I guess that's the other thing. You know, you're just going back to the Raiders for a second. They do. It's not. It's not so much like an old team, but it it does seem like a team that's got a lot of, you know, very experienced players, which is which is good. But I, I guess there is the the issue if a lot a lot of them start to get past their prime. I mean, you sort of look at Jared Croker, even even what Elliot Whitehead to a certain extent. I still think Whitehead plays some good footy, but um, you know they they got a couple of guys I think that not necessarily like done in their careers, but probably need to sort of look at who's going to be replacing these guys. They got some good youngsters coming through as well, but um, yeah, you know there, there's 
there's there's issues maybe <laughs> maybe short-term issues for the for the Raiders to to deal with um but you know every team every team goes through the ups and downs and uh as a Broncos fan you know I know that oh too well <laughs> Dave so I'm, I'm excited for the Broncos to turn it around and it might be the Raiders might be going into that uh, little down period but who knows dude it, it could it could change up quickly um but there's always going to be a few teams there's always going to be the bottom eight I guess that's the that's the motto isn't it like everyone you, you hate it when it's your team that's in the in the bottom eight but there's got to be a bottom eight every every year so you know you just gotta you gotta ride the you gotta ride the lows with uh with the highs as uh Jordan Rappiner, who was, I guess, Rappiner is a funny one because he, I mean, yeah, Rappiner's been around. He, he's been to, to other codes. He's he's come back to the Raiders, and I I thought he was sort of gone and you know passed it a little bit as a beautiful little pass out on Adam Pompey through the gap. Croker chasing, can't get him. Throws the dummy, gets the offload. Beautiful play. Chanel Harris to Vita finally gets our first points on the board. It's been a yeah. It's been a it's been a bit of a shocking game from us so far, but that's uh, that's a nice way to start. It was a good kick and then a, a good bit of defensive play to throw Rapina into touch, and then off the scrum it was just a nice little play there. Adam Pompe through the through the gap and links up with uh, Harris Tavita, so that uh, hopefully will get us a little bit of a kick start in this uh, in this contest. As Nick Arima across beautiful ball, Ben Murdoch Masilla takes on the fullback, but Clockstead takes him down there but uh, I guess that, that's the other thing with uh, with the Raiders a little bit unlucky in the year because obviously Chansey was out uh, for you know a big length of time is that a, dude that's so unlucky it was such a good kick oh man that that may be mad in this game because uh, you know it was a great uh, a great play early kick I knew the fullback was up in the line it was a perfectly placed kick but we just couldn't quite get him in goal it's it's such a hard play to do I thought I pulled it off perfectly but uh just the tackle animation didn't work in our favor there as jared croker goes through he's gonna burn to uh to Vasa Shaka couldn't quite cover across and and croker just slides his way over oh that was it was a nice try it was a nice try it was a good effort from rts he was he was already on the back foot trying to cover the space and and croker just a little bit too close to the line is able to yeah, just just slide his way over in the in the wet conditions. So our little comeback is has just been nipped in the bud briefly. It's still it's still time to go. If we just get the footy, try to try to build some build some pressure, build some momentum. We we can come back in this, but we just yeah, it's, it's been one of those games. We just haven't quite uh, haven't quite found our groove in this one. Just too many too many unforced errors and. Yeah, you're not going to win games of footy with with that amount of drop drop possession and and giving the opponent so much uh, possession really is. Uh, Tanoa Brown takes the intercept, gets the pass away to the speedster and we, uh, Reese Walsh, and just like that again, we're going to hit back. So the game is still alive and off a couple of Raiders areas, we're gonna we're gonna strike. So that was great work from the from the front row there, Tanoa Brown, just uh, finding finding some space and. Just giving it to the to the freak and, and the speedster and Reese Walsh who uh, is able to to burn the defensive line and and, and score a score a very nice try. Um, but yeah, what was, what was I what was I saying? Finishing off on the Raiders, you know. I guess I pretty much finished what I was gonna say as uh, Rapina here. Oh no, he's, I was talking about Rapina, so this is a good little leeway as he's gonna score. Well, he's probably gonna score. He is gonna score. And that that's that's probably killed us off in this one. That's that's unfortunate. It was it was a good attempt for a 40-20, and then the kick chase just wasn't up to wasn't up to scratch right there. But uh, I thought Rappiner was sort of done and dusted in the NRL, but he 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 finished the season off very well, and uh, the Raiders have re-signed him, which uh, I think may be a little bit of a trap because. <laughs> You know, I mean, Rappin, he's been around the, he's been around for a long time. But uh, I mean, if he still, if he keeps playing great footy, then uh, I guess you know, that's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to have, and he's he's still one of the best wingers in the game, which is you know saying a lot. He's he's yeah, he's he's been around and done a lot, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it is what it is. As we uh, swing it right here, Bailey Siren and looking to link up our wire. We are going to get a six to go. Couple of minutes, couple of plays left in the game. 
N nice to, to finish off on a little bit of a high here as Nick Arima takes it across field, gets taken down. Nice little play to the left here. I love this play. Reese Walsh looking for the gap, gets the pass away to Tohu Harris. Oh, he gets the loopy offload. Adam Pompey is going to get taken to ground there. Maybe one last play in this game if he gets up and plays it. No, he doesn't. So the Raiders... They get the win. They probably deserved it. We, we didn't play our best footy. We had a chance to, to come back hard in that game, but uh, the, the Raiders scored a couple of tries just to, to break our backs in that one. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.